Huh. Time for Nick Blaze. You're right, I should do something special for Halloween. For what? I don't know, that sounds illegal. I'll just get a pumpkin. Hey, pumpkins are cool. You're the pumpkin. I'm getting a pumpkin. See ya. Welcome to Nick Play's Halloween edition. Today's Halloween, of course, and what better way to celebrate the event than having a real-life zombie apocalypse. The apocalypse is here, today of all days! What a twist. Be that as it may, the show must go on, and the song I'll be covering today is none other than Jonathan Colton's Re Your Brains. Hey, you Tom, it's Bob, from the office down the hall. It's good to see you. Let's start with the man himself. Jonathan Colton was born on December 1st, 1970, in Brooklyn, New York. He's a singer-songwriter known for his songs about geek culture, and his use of the internet to appeal to fans. Some of his most popular songs include Code Monkey, Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Skull Crusher Mountain, I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Read your brains. And Still Alive, which is from the video game Portal. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Just like this baby is. Hmm. I'm gonna talk about Still Alive a little bit right now, because I did cover it a while back, but I didn't talk about the story much. It's funny how we sometimes remember some tiny details. Uh, when I released Still Alive, I was at JFK, JFK Airport in New York. I had not had time to finish the song Still Alive, the video, so I finished it at the airport and released it there, and then I was checking for views every two minutes like I do all the time. But I digress. Still Alive was written by Joko, nicknamed for Jonathan Colton, of course, by his fans. It was written for the ending credits of Valve's 2007 video game Portal, as I just said, with vocals by Ellen McLean. Some have called it the most influential uh, game music ever. A performance that I uh, particularly like is one uh, that Jonathan Colton did live with Felicia Day at PAX 2008. You can check it out here. As I said before, I'm a fan of Felicia Day. I think she's hot. Other than that, the song made an appearance in Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, across the levels are scattered some jukeboxes, you can activate them. Some songs play, Still Alive is one of them. And another song that you can play on the jukeboxes is Re Your Brains, the song I'm doing today. The song was released on the album Thing A Week 2. Now I'm gonna start by talking about the Thing A Week albums. So in 2006 and 2007, Colton recorded 52 musical pieces in an effort to push his creative envelope via a forced march approach to writing and recording, just to prove to himself that he could produce creative output on a deadline, and to see whether a professional artist could use the internet and creative commons to support himself. He disclosed that he makes about $500,000 a year just with his music and lacking a record label contract, so yeah, I'd say his experiment worked. Jonathan Colton recorded four Thing A Week albums based on those songs that he wrote that year. And Re Your Brains was on Thing A Week 2. The song was the number 26th entry in the Thing A Week project that was released on March 24, 2006. It's obviously one of Jonathan's most recognizable and well-known songs and um, a concert staple and it also kind of identifies him uh, in the rock geek genre. It is believed that Joko has performed Re Your Brains in nearly every concert he's done since its release. It's usually played as the closing song, and what he usually does is that he requires audience participation, basically making them sing along like zombies during the chorus, like a, in a tone-deaf, arrhythmic, uh, pretty much unintelligible manner. If you feel like singing that song, none of us do. Just, just, um... 
just scream and make zombie noises, and that might even be better. Okay, let's try it again. That's good. That's that's great. That sounds terrible, which is exactly what we want. Congratulations. As you can probably guess, if you don't know, the song is about zombies. Uh, to summarize, the person singing is named Bob, sending a reply email, read your brains, recall on your brains, uh, to his coworker Tom, uh, former coworker, and I say former because Bob is now a zombie and wants to get inside the building to eat Tom's brain, as they do. That's the song in a nutshell. It is interesting to note that there is a French version of the song called Re vos cerveaux, and although French is my first language, I will not be singing that one. So without further ado, this is Jonathan Colton's Re Your Brains. Hey Tom, it's Bob from the office down the hall. It was good to see you, buddy. How have you been? Things have been okay for me Except that I'm a zombie now I really wish you'd let us in I think I speak for all of us When I say I understand Why you folks might hesitate To submit to our demand But here's an FYI You're all gonna die screaming Eat your brains We're not unreasonable I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes All we wanna do is eat your brains We're at an impasse here Maybe we should compromise If you open up the doors Then we'll all come inside and eat your brains I don't want to nitpick Tom, but is this really the plan? Spend your whole life locked inside a mall Maybe that's okay for now, but someday you'll be out of food and guns And then you'll have to make the call I'm not surprised to see you haven't thought it through enough You never had the head for all that bigger picture stuff but Tom that's what I do and I plan on eating you slowly all we wanna do is eat your brains we're not unreasonable I mean no one's gonna eat your eyes all we wanna do is eat your brains we're at an impasse here maybe we should compromise And eat your brains I'd like to help you Tom In any way I can I sure appreciate The way you're working with me I'm not Monster Tom Well, technically I am I guess I am Open up the 
Thank you. See you next time. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's hard to overstate My satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must Because we can